Hello, Bots and Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and it's time to take a look at the weekly finds. Now, if you're new to this segment, this is a week-long toy hunt that I do, where I go around to all these various stores, and when I find something cool and interesting, I take a picture of it, and at the end of the week, I compile all the pictures together, and we can see what we got. Alright, I always like to start with those cute little Funko Pops, and this week at Target, I found the... Target exclusive Ghostbusters Afterlife Mini Puffed. And he is so cute. He's a little zap version. He has some wires there and he's like <laughs> zapping himself. And he's like, oh, so that is pretty neat. This is the only one I've found of these so far. I think other stores have exclusive versions of them. But if you want this one, he's at Target. Also at Target, I found the Target exclusive What If Zombie Doctor Strange. And he was so gruesome and scary looking. Missing an eye and he's like, Rrr, brains. And this is all obviously part of that uh, Marvel Studios Disney Plus What If series, so he looks all creepy, so if you're looking for him, check out Target. And also in this line, I found the zombie Captain America, and again, he wasn't as creepy as Doctor Strange, but he still had a cool little vibe about him for being a zombie. Now, I wish they would do the Marvel Zombies comic versions as opposed to just the uh, What If television show, but I'll take what they give us. So if you're interested in these guys, they are out now. At Walmart, I found this awesome five-piece Stitch set for $20. Now, it's not your normal toys, but I love Stitch. He is one of my favorite Disney characters. It drives my wife crazy. I thought about doing it just so I could hide them around my wife's side of the room and <laughs> closet and she'd find one and it would drive her crazy but anyway you may not want to do that if your wife doesn't like stitch you might get in trouble <laughs> in the NECA aisle at Target, I found Buddy from the movie Elf, and Christmas is still alive and well, and he is a NECA figure, and he comes with some maple syrup and some other accessories in there, so I don't know how well stocked the Christmas stuff is still going to be at your Target stores, but at mine, I still have these, the Home Alone figures, and the Christmas story figure. So I don't know, maybe they'll go on clearance and they'll get rid of them at a cheaper price, but in the meantime, they're still on the shelves. For Masters of the Universe Origins series, I found the Stridor, and this was pretty neat. He was pretty hefty in there, and I found him at Target. So if you're looking, Target would be the best place to start, and it probably won't be long before we get a Night Stalker or two as a repaint of this guy. But anyway, he's hitting shelves now. And for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in the mail this week, I got a package from my favorite online retailer, The Chosen Prime, and in it, I had the Super 7 Ultimate Donatello! And this guy looks awesome, and I can't wait to do a review on him. But there is still a few more things in front of him, but he is in the house. For DC, I found this awesome little Selena Kyle and Batman 2-pack with a little motorcycle. These are little minifigures, and apparently it's supposed to represent a chase scene from the new Batman movie coming out soon. And, uh... They were all right. They were, they were different. I don't really like the minifigure aspect of it, but yeah, I thought somebody may be looking for these. I found these at Walmart. And if you like a larger scaled toy at Target, I found the DC Multiverse The Batman Bat Cycle. And I don't know, it just seems like a little motorcycle that's kind of souped up. It doesn't really scream to me Bat Cycle, but then again, I mean, I guess all you'll need to do is throw some bat symbols on there and you got a bat cycle. Anyway, if you're looking for that, that is hitting shelves. And for the DC Multiverse line at Target, I found the Batman in hazmat suit. Now, I know we saw this the other day, but I had found that at GameStop, and there's a big, huge sticker on him. I thought I would take another picture so we could see the a little clearer of this guy's face, and it's really still a neat little suit. And uh, if you like your, like, Batman looking like he's scuba diving or, you know, trying to clean up hazardous wastes, there you go. <laughs> also from the DC Multiverse line, I found the Superboy Prime, and he was interesting. He looks like he did from the comics, where he has that suit on, and, uh, eh. 
Wasn't a big fan of this particular character, but if you like him, he's coming out now. But the most awesome thing I found this week from DC Multiverse was a package from Target that had the Deluxe Batman Year 2 figure in it, and it was awesome. I did have a few problems with it, and if you want to check out my review about this figure, I think you'll enjoy it, and I'll just dis I discuss a, bit, a little bit of the issues I was afraid that I would have with this figure, and at the end, I fix it, so it all turns out well, and I have super cool Batman figure sitting on my desk right now, so yay. Love this thing. And for Marvel Legends, I found the Target exclusive retro carded Spider-Man in the symbiote suit. Or technically, a lot of people would say that this is just the black costume, the cloth one, because it doesn't have the little dot on his hands. I don't really care. It's black. It's what the Venom suit looked like before he became Venom. So if you want to call it symbiote suit, and if you're a stickler about that little dot, just get you a sharpie and put a little dot on his hand and you'll be happy. And finally this week for our Transformers, I had mentioned earlier that I had received a package from the Chosen Prime and it had Donatello in it, but it also had this awesome Robot Paradise Zero One Acoustic Wave. And if you remember and if you know anything about Masterpiece Transformer third parties, you would know that this is what we call the Fans Toys Sound Wave. And it was awesome. It's huge. And I'm going to have this thing out and put, replace the Takara Tomio one on my shelf because I like the more cartoon aesthetic that this one has and it's just beautiful. On the back of the box you can see a brief read up of him and you can see he has his other tapes there which were sold separately and you can see that he has two forms. He actually can have a toy form or a regular cartoon version form. And that's pretty neat. He transforms into a tape deck and that is cool. And the final thing in the Chosen Prime box was a set of the tapes. And I tell you, Fans Toys kind of knew how to market this. They put the most popular tapes in one set and they gave you what I would call frenzy with the original release so if you wanted any of the classic characters you would have had to buy this box set which is fine i think everybody was gonna buy it anyway but <laughs> it was kind of shrewd i think <laughs> but anyway i can't wait to get these guys open and put them on my masterpiece shelf now that brings up an interesting point i like to do transformers on the channel i do mostly the mainline stuff but i do have an entire series of masterpiece autobots and Decepticons, but I've never really done a masterpiece review. I think I'm a bit intimidated because the transforms are so complex and I think it would take so long. So I may start a new series where I just take some pictures and we just talk about it. I don't know if that's something anybody else would enjoy, but I'm thinking about it. So anyway, guys, that is the weekly finds. I know there wasn't a lot. I've been uh, kind of under the weather the last couple weeks, but hopefully things are going to get back on track and I'll find some more great stuff next week for you guys. So hopefully you guys found some of the things I found interesting as well. And if you're looking for any of these great toys, happy hunting. And until next time, guys, have a great night and keep playing.